moments that folks aren't happy about so we got to do a little bumper swap 2022 rocky ridge we're not gonna talk about that we're just gonna replace the bumper come on long, let's go all right so this is what we're working with right now uh let's go to the easy stuff you're gonna need an eight millimeter to take out this inside fender well i already left some of the bolts out because i already took this off so it's one two three and then those two bolts back there it's actually three bolts to get the bumper off on each side so it's this bolt here this bolt here and this bolt here um, those are all 18 millimeters so i'm going to break those loose and get those off on both sides before you take off the bumper you're going to have to unplug this connector here so this red clip slides up you lift that part up you don't want to start the car with this unplugged you're going to throw an error code that you got to take it to the dealership to get clear here's a time lapse of us pulling the bumper off there's actually a 10 millimeter bolt that sits up on the corner that if you back it out it's a whole lot easier to get the bumper down this is us unwrapping the new bumper from bumpers that deliver when i ordered i actually got the bumper at about a week real quick let me show you the the colors the original bumper this is the bumper from bumpers that deliver color is very close not exactly perfect it's a little bit darker they were the cheapest option that i found for a painted bumper and also the they had bumpers in stock so so we got a little bit i think this is really the only piece right now that i see there might be a couple more pieces but again cheapest option uh, and the fastest delivery so I'm not a hundred percent mad at that eventually we're gonna get the truck wrapped anyway I did order a new lower grill uh, it was kind of bent and warping we're after gonna swap out all of the uh, fog lights and stuff I did get front tow hooks so I'm gonna swap the plates out the covers for the front tow hook kit so look forward to that too so we've got uh, the first part so we took off the top plastic here this is a section just these four push pins uh, there's a little adhesive right here on the corner and then also we replaced the bottom already that bottom plastic that lower uh, right now we just got a set in there there's a couple push pins right here right here and under here uh, all of these are all 10 millimeter bolts that hold this on this bolt right here is underneath this screw and i'll show you where that is coming off of this bracket so we had to back the screw out to get to that screw we replaced the sensors already we replaced the fog light cases already put on the front tow hooks it's a whole lot easier when you got the whole bumper off you got to get this bolt out it's an 18. it is a bad boy <sighs> also i don't know why there's water in these bolts but I mean, I get it in the rain and stuff like that sitting down in here. Also, there's a retaining clip. Once you get it all the way loose, bang it out. Something like taking your hammer and banging it down. So here's the front shroud for the tow hooks. When I was trying to put it on, it wasn't lining up. I couldn't get the top clips to uh, attach. And I noticed that the plastic, I don't know if you can see that, had a little extra piece. So just be mindful. I'm just going to shave this off real quick. Just trying to... Don't you worry about that. Alright, let's see it from the back side here. That's what she said, by the way. Properly attached now. Gentle, gentle sliding. You slide here. These come up and pop on. Mmm, much more gooder. That's what she said. Alright, there you go. Another quick time lapse of us just dropping in the actual bracket. I just wanted to show you guys that I was able to pull it off in one piece. We just disconnected all of the sensors, the fog lights. I wanted to get some more video of us just putting the bumper back on, but my GoPro was acting a fool. All right, so look, GoPro kept overheating and eventually the battery died. So it's the next morning. We got the replacement all the way put together. Came through like butter. Can't even see what speck of dust was in the clear coat. The color matches good enough. Can't even really tell. If you really dig in, it's a little bit darker. You can kind of see where the paint's a little thin right there around the edges but again this is the undercarriage overall bumpers that deliver came through i'm extremely happy with the way they came out i love the tow hooks so we're good i appreciate y'all hanging out